Praying mantises. They are by far one of the most secretive and disguised top predators of the insect kingdom. In total, there are around 2,500 species of mantises worldwide, many who are native to many places such as Asia, Europe, and North Africa, thriving in warm climates but have been introduced to areas like North America where they are now well established. Surprisingly, there is only one mantis species that is actually from the United States, that being the Carolina mantis that is common from New Jersey all the way to Florida. Praying mantises got their name from the way it holds its front two legs, which are folded closely together, and gives a look of sitting in prayer. The word mantis comes from the Greek word mante, which means prophet. Praying mantises also have some of the most unique appearances out of any insect. They are equipped with a triangle-shaped head and two globe-shaped compound eyes on each opposite side. Each compound eye is made up of individual facets called amatidia that detect light and motion, giving the mantis a wide field of view and excellent depth precision. And fun fact, praying mantises are also one of the only invertebrates that can see in 3D. They also have many advantages, including their ability to rotate their head 180 degrees due to a flexible joint located between their head and thorax, helping them hunt easier. Praying mantises also have an incredible six legs, with the front two legs that evolved into being razor-sharp claws, some being even sharp enough to slice open a human finger. Little known to most people, mantises are also able to fly with their two extendable wings on each side of their abdomen, and have a single ear located on the underside of their abdomen which can detect ultrasonic frequencies. This helps them evade predators like bats. So let's get into the real question, how do praying mantises hunt? and why are they nicknamed the assassins of the insect kingdom? First off, they wait patiently and blend in very well, making it hard for prey to spot them. Once they are within a striking distance of their target, they break their stillness with a lightning fast strike using their front pair of legs, which are the claws. They often hunt the unexpected targets like crickets, grasshoppers, beetles, and sometimes even spiders and lizards. And during reproduction, things can get pretty crazy. Cannibalism, yes, you heard that right especially sexual cannibalism, which is common among praying mantises. Females sometimes eat males during or after mating. This behavior provides nutritional benefits to the female, increasing the chances of successful reproduction, although mating for males is dangerous. Males approach females cautiously, often engaging in courtship behaviors to reduce the likelihood of being eaten. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one.